What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video. So this is gonna be our first iOS 15 video. We're gonna take a look at the weather application as it has been updated for iOS 15. Super cool looking. Uh, now I just got iOS 15 installed on my device, so expect um, throughout the next few days where I break down you know, new features and show hands on what the new features look like. Uh, so first is first, we're gonna start with the weather. Now it's got a complete overhaul to its look and I think it looks really, really nice. Um, as you can see, we have our hourly forecast. We have a 10 day forecast with current weather conditions and also temperatures with really nice looking little gauges there. And then you have more information here about the air quality. Uh, you have the UV index, the sunset and sunrise. You got the wind direction and a bunch of other information feels like um, humidity and all that. So a bunch of information found within the weather app now. And uh, one of the new features is the new animations. I think the animations look amazing uh, on this version. So if we go over here, as you can see, I have multiple locations added to this. So if we check out Antarctica, as you can see, it is currently night there. And we got some clouds with the stars in the background. Pretty cool looking. Um, let's see here, Tokyo. As you can see, there's the sun. And from what I'm aware of is they, they position the sun uh, depending on what time of the day it is. So I think that that's really cool as well. I believe that when it's on the left, that's gonna be your morning. And as the day goes on, the sun will go to the right. That's what I'm assuming. I just installed it and Tokyo, it should be you know morning time. So it is on the left. And then if we go, let's see if any of these other ones have the sun being displayed. I don't think they do, so I can't really show you can kind of vaguely see it over to the right here uh, for my current location. So the sun is off to the right. Uh, so really cool animations, uh, nice look, lots of information. And then another cool thing here is if we go to the map here, uh, we can get more information from this. And I like this feature a lot. So here's the, the temperature. As you can see, it's kind of, um, you know, colorized to what temperature there is. Uh, but you can change this filter and it's cool if you zoom out here, you can see all the locations that you have within weather. So if we zoom in on Rochester here, I can go ahead and just click on it. And as you can see, it switches to this city here and we can change from temperature to precipitation. As you can see, there actually is a loading bar there. So zoom this out. It looks like there's not much precipitation around. But there you go. So you can see if you're gonna get rain or precipitation. And then if we change the filter, we can check out the air quality as well. So if you want to know what the air quality is, uh, you can switch to that. And I think it's just a, you know, a bunch of great features added to the weather app uh, to make it more functional. Let's see if I can't. There we go. Click on Los Angeles. Very cool update. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the new weather update down in the comments. Do you guys like it? Um, I just did the review on Carrot Weather. I still think that's probably the best weather app you can get, but I do like that this has been updated and looks much, much better in my opinion with a bunch of very useful information for a weather app. Uh, but anyways, this has been Jeremy and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.